We have two teams meeting for the first time in program history. And the Campbell Campbells welcome the Trinity Baptist Eagles into Gore Arena as we get you set for tip off of what should be a fun night here for college basketball. Thank you for joining us on ESPN Plus. Evan Budrovich and Jay Sunhalter with you. Jay, you have a Campbell team that can certainly shoot the basketball and try to play a quality 40 minutes here tonight. With some elite level defense and some good transition basketball. Boy, we got a good one for you tonight here inside Gore Arena. The UNCG Spartans come into town riding a two game win streak, taking on the Campbell Camels off to a five and one start to open up the season. But thank you for joining us tonight on ESPN Plus. Should be a fun one here in Gore Arena. Evan Budrovich and Wanda Watkins with you. Coach, you have two teams with winning ways entering this game. Should be a good one here tonight. It really should. Camel come. Two former rivals from the 1970s reunite tonight in Gore Arena as the William Peace Pacers gallivant down 401 into Bowie's Creek, North Carolina, as we welcome you here to Gore Arena. Thank you for joining us on ESPN Plus. Should be a fun one here tonight. Evan Budrovich and Wanda Watkins with you. How about this Campbell team winning six straight games, playing some great basketball? I really like the unselfishness. Kyra Davis left open. And that's been her kind of night shooting the basketball. Campbell can take a lead with the three. They're going to try is. it here. There it is. And the Camels, who trail by 17 in the first half, now have a lead in the final three minutes. Sets it up top to Spencer. And another turnover. Amadou Bamba out running. And Bamba, the emphatic slam. Carter holding on for dear life. Somehow gets the pass to Barber. Carter gets it back. And there's athleticism on full display to go. Freeman is blocked by Clemens. Nelson the lob. And Chris Clemens ignites this crowd. Wow. Welcome back inside Gorena as the Cougars trying to hold on to a lead here in this second half. And give credit to Tyler Collins. She's now got 10 points to lead all scorers. Yeah, she hit that one going down to the ground. Never an easy finish for the freshman who's Averaging nearly eight assists a game. Today, though, she's been more aggressive with the ball. She's a good little floor general, too. Good communicator. And there's a foul on Campbell fighting inside before we get started. That's on Haley Barber, her first. Just the fourth foul for Campbell here in the quarter. That's close. Tough catch by Madison Taylor running the point now for the Cougars. Collins zips it inside, and that's Erica Broughton for two. Collins showing that she can see the floor. Michaela Coleman the other way. Nice. And count it. An and one opportunity for Michaela Coleman. That's a great answer for Campbell at the opposite end. Coleman comes right in off the bench and sprints to the bucket for two. So a three-point play by Michaela Coleman. Charleston in a horn set here. Trying to feed the ball into Broughton. Instead, Taylor lets it fly and a bit strong. Hampton buries her way in. And that'll force a traveling violation on Haley Barber giving it away. Campbell continues to sit in this single-digit close proximity, but just cannot make a big push here in this third quarter. That's what they got to do. They're getting close, and they're just going to have to hopefully get over the hump. Never heard that one before on a campus of Campbell University. <laughs> As Erica Broughton commits the foul, giving it right back to Campbell. Here's a good break for the Camels. Cut it back to five here, possibly. So you see. Campbell now in the bonus with those five fouls on the Cougars. Coleman guarded tightly by Collins. No room to operate for Haley Barber. 
As a reach-in foul, setting up free throws, and that's going to be on Erica Broughton. That's the fourth foul for Broughton. That's really been the, her downfall tonight, hasn't it? Campbell needing to take advantage on the line now. There we go. Hampton does just that. As now Broughton will exit. And Ashlyn Hampton, who has had some foul trouble of her own this year, looking to settle things down from the free throw line. Two for two, nice start. And back to a six point game. Camels are definitely in this game now. Closest it's been since early in the second quarter. Huff looks to change that, cannot finish. And now the Camels working in transition. Out to Thule. Thule short. And a foul on the floor. After the hard work of Ashlyn Hampton picks up contact. That's on Lexi Mattis, the sophomore, into the game for the first time. She's out of Athens, Georgia. And you see here fighting for the board, Maddox sneaks her arm in. The momentum's really starting to slip Campbell's way. Hampton to cut this to a four-point game. And four straight free throws will do it. They're chipping away at it. Charleston led by 17 midway through the second. Huff evades Barber. Tooley comes over to help. And it's an offensive foul with Davis fighting for the rebound. That's on Madison Taylor. Oh, okay. Which also means free throws with the bonus coming up. And a timeout called by the Cougars. We're going to take immediate timeout with Campbell clawing its way back in. Now down just four here on ESPN+. Plus. Welcome back here to Gore Arena as the kids are loving the Camels' comeback in this third quarter. They have four six turnovers by the Cougars. And now the Fighting Camels are back within four as Michaela Coleman heads to the free throw line in the bonus. As Campbell, very impressive here coming out of halftime. Yeah, I mean, this is her 11th time going to the free throw line this half and forcing those turnovers. You can feel the momentum begin to change. Hopefully they'll be able to take advantage of that. Campbell, though, has not been able to convert here at the free throw line. And that's a foul on Charleston. Fighting for the rebound there. Lexi Maddox picks up the foul. And with the bonus starting to accumulate, more free throws this time for Haley Barber. Barber's a good free throw shooter. Has yet to attempt one this year and unable to finish on her first. Campbell's had their chances at the free throw line. This is now 28 attempts coming up, yet they sit at just 59%. It's really hurting right now. There, there they go. Back to a three-point difference. Halftime, it was a 10-point lead for the Cougars. Collins trying to break the run and cannot finish. Campbell's defense is really coming through for them now. Coleman out in front. And the fast break cuts it to one. Here come the Camels, down by as many as 17. They've been awoken by their defense. Work it inside to Maddox, and muscles her way in. Another good move with her back to the basket. Thule draws a foul. And that'll also draw some free throws. I think she or might have stepped, stepped out of bounds. Line. My apologies. As now for Charleston, they'll bring in a sharpshooter, Kaylin Dorsey, rally native from Ravenscroft High School. And this now a three point difference. Here's Collins. She's not afraid to shoot from long range. 
And helping her out on the back end, Bree Sullivan out of the line. Again, a good second effort that time by Charleston, getting to the board. That'll put the Cougars in the bonus as well here in the quarter. And Sullivan rolls in the first. Cougars have been great, 80% of the free throw line. Campbell had up and down performance here today. As Bree Sullivan, she's been a big rebounding presence. She's got six tonight. But cannot convert on the free throw. Here come the Camels running. Haley Barber backs it out as we approach the final two minutes of this third quarter. Charleston going back to the zone now. Taya Bolden running out of options. Bounds. There we go. And good the patience. Camels are back within one. Really good patience by Campbell that time as they face the zone again. Bounds is two of three from downtown, and we got a ball game. Cougars get it to Ford. And now Tyler Collins, the Atlanta native, will reset. Here's Huff, a contested three, and Bolden gives it away. Collins quickly converts. Mm, costly, costly mistake that time. And Taya Bolden lost track of colors, giving it right away to Charleston for an easy layup. Back to a three-point difference now as Campbell clawed their way back to one. Coleman. Now Campbell trying to break the zone. And Coleman drags Shuffle her pivot foot. Feet. That is now 18 turnovers for Campbell. So both teams starting to pile up the mistakes here in this third quarter. Who will take advantage? Nice pass. Excellent finish by Bree Sullivan. And a one-point difference, now back up to five. Collins with six assists. Coleman finds Bolden. Haley Barber shoots one of the stars. Coleman with the rebound and cannot oh. finish. Davis uncontested for two. Campbell doing a good job against the offensive glass now. College of Charleston here to hold for the final shot of the quarter. Don't tell Collins that as she slips inside and cannot finish. And a foul will send Taya Bolden to the line. A bailout call with three seconds left. Costly there, sort of like in the other quarter, making that foul with .7 seconds right before halftime. A little more costly this time as the game's tight and gotten closer. So Taya Bolden, one of two from the line here tonight. Chance to shrink this deficit. That is now the 12th miss from the free throw line for Campbell as they near 30 free throws in the ball game. That's a season high. Yeah, they're definitely getting there. They're working to get to the line. Bolden clanks one off. It's still a chance for Davis. And that will end an exciting third quarter. We head to the final frame. Campbell trailed by 10 at the break. They are now back within three. Final 10 minutes coming after this quick break. Who will hold on to win it? We'll figure that out next here on ESPN+. Plus. Nebrima Deba out of Sweden. He's running the point. It's six foot six. Long athletic guard. And a lefty. What a combo. Bamba kicks it outside. Here's an open three. And nailed by Ajay Sanders. Nelson deflecting the pass. Another steal. And there's your dunk. Nelson hesitates. Feeds Cluxton. And Cluxton delivers. A great ball fake by Nelson. Now a lethal three-point shooter. And Clemens brings it up the floor. 
And he shows him how it's done. It's so Solomon showing her athleticism. Now lets it fly, and that is silky smooth. Whew. Nice look to Baskin, and Cluxton sends it away with authority. For her team. Carter bulldozing her way in. Davis cleans it up for an easy bucket. Final seconds of the third quarter. Out to bounds for the lead. And Campbell closes the third quarter on a 5-0 run. Clemens, long range three. That's no good. Spencer the save. Tipped around and Coastal in transition. This is Jones. And that may do a double figure lead. Timeout called as Coastal Carolina riding its defense.